G'day viewers, I love canister filters. They do a great job filtering your water. They don't clutter up the inside of the tank. They're quiet. They come in all different sizes. And the choice of media is up to you. I think the only disadvantage of canister filters is sometimes they're a bit of a pain to clean. Which is why I think sometimes we let them go a little bit longer than what we should letting all that muck and detritus build up because it's out of sight, out of mind. They tend to clog up and all that rubbish in there is just producing more nitrates. So I thought to myself, self, what if there was a way we could remove a little bit of that muck every day, which would help extend our service intervals and also help keep the nitrates down. And this is what I came up with. How a canister filter works, the dirty water comes in, down to the bottom, back up through the sponges, which clean it, and then it returns into the tank. But if we turn the filter off, then turn off this tap on the inlet hose, and open a tap down the bottom, that'll cause it to suck water in the return, cleaning out the impeller, washing out the sponges and having the dirty water come out the bottom. Now to construct this marvel of aquatic engineering, we need a canister filter and we need a few fittings. We have a one inch caravan sink drain that I bought at a caravan supply shop, a inch poly riser, an inch poly elbow, a PVC threaded tap, a rubber washer and another poly elbow. The sink drain has a barb on the end for connecting a hose which we don't want. We're going to screw the elbow on so we need to cut that off. So we screw up the nut which will help us keep our cut straight and clean the thread. We jam a bit of wood and we stick it in the vise and then we cut that barb off once we find the hacksaw. Now we've cut the barb off, we unscrew the nut and it'll help straighten out the thread so we can screw our poly elbow on. Next we drill a hole to fit the sink drain. Now we make sure our drain fits, which it does we run a bead of silicon around the inside. Insert the drain into the hole, put our rubber washer on, which will give the elbow something to screw up against, and then screw the elbow on. and the drain fits nice and flush inside. Now we wrap some thread tape around our riser. And screw it into our elbow. Then screw on the tap and the last elbow which just makes it a bit easy to drain. Now I made this base for it to sit on. But just a reminder, if you're going to get your kid to help with the filming, 
make sure they don't pick on your choice of footwear. Here it is, all finished and all set up. The idea being if you drain a little bit out every day, it'll extend the cleaning intervals and help reduce the nitrates. But what I did, I left it for about a month on a heavily stocked tank so we can really see how well it works. This is a 19mm or 3 quarter garden poly tap. I just cut the intake line and put the tap in. It's simple. So after turning the filter off, we just turn this tap off. And before I open the drain, I'll put a bit of board there so we can see what's happening. So with the top tap turned off, we open the bottom one and look at all of that coming out. So I think our little project has been a success. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you something to think about. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Did that video? Pardon? Did that video?